What's up, guys? It's Damp. Uh, I got a lot of requests for best party um, and best party to make gold. So that'll be the next few videos um, you'll see come out for me. Uh, so here we go. So what I feel is the best party, uh, some people call it the meta or, um, you know, just the party that would make your life the easiest as you're trouncing through the vast majority of dungeons in the game. Um, so a, a couple qualifiers. So uh, the best party for me is based off my play style, which is extremely aggressive. Uh, I favor attacks over stuns, and I favor straight line attacks over AoE. So to give you some context, I typically do not heal my party until they are a hero is anywhere between 50 to maybe 60% health depending on the hero, but I, I usually wait that long and will continue to attack or maybe stun with my Vestal in order to continue to deal out damage, preventing stress, which is much more detrimental longer term and leads to much more of a gold sink long term, in my opinion. So that kind of gives you a qualifier of my play style. Um, these, this party will excel in any of the um, explore 90% of the rooms may struggle a little bit because it doesn't have the scout um, trinket selection for uh, these these uh, dungeon runs here like uh, complete the room battles or purify the altars um, exterminate these kind of things where you have to complete battles or gather things makes it a little more difficult so uh, we'll start from the front so in the first slot we're going to bring, whoops, we will bring the uh, Hellion. Um, and I'll kind of explain why I favor her in slot one. So she can attack all four rows, which is extremely valuable and makes running dungeons much easier when you have people who can attack every single row or at least the back three. Because almost everybody can attack the front two. So if you, you bring somebody and you select combat skills that only hit the back three rows, you're probably going to be perfectly fine because your two um, people in the front row are definitely going to have skills that can attack the, the slot in the front. So um, moving on. So what combat skills we're bringing, and, and I'll go pretty brief through this. It's Wicked Hack, Iron Swan, so you can hit the fourth row. Um, Y'all, I use very selectively. Um, but it is there. I, you also could bring Adrenaline Rush, um, which is another one I think that's pretty strong. Uh, so you could swap that out for Adrenaline Rush depending on your play style. And then if it bleeds, which I still think is one of the strongest attacks in the game, even after being hit from the nerf bat. Kind of underrated and underutilized in my opinion. Uh, so uh, those are the combat skills you're going to bring. Her camping skills, again, I always recommend Encourage. You're going to bring Battle Trance, Reject the Gods, and Sharpen Spear. Uh, your quirks, hopefully what you've selected have focused on crit and melee damage. Uh, always lock in Precise Striker when you see it. The uh, trinkets we're going to utilize, Surgical Gloves, probably the best trinket in the game in my opinion. Uh, especially considering it's a green. And then Ancestor's Pen, if you do not have Ancestor's Pen, anything that would bring uh, some crit or some additional damage, like if we look through hers... Uh, I'm not really going to recommend any of her specific ones. They're really not that good. If anything, Selfish Pendant is probably her best one, which is a common trinket. Uh, you're really just looking for damage. You could bring uh, Sun Rings. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you could bring, but you're looking for damage or crit in that slot. Um, coming in slot two... And you could kind of change this out depending on your style, but I run Bounty Hunter in slot two. Um, and Bounty Hunter will be, collect Bounty obviously is what you're going to want to bring. Bring their mark. And this you could switch out for Uppercut if you needed to based off the composition that we're utilizing. Uh, flashbang you're going to bring. And then you're going to bring Finish Him because that will allow him to hit third row uh, pretty consistently. So those are the combat skills. You're going to bring, excuse me, as you look at camping skills, um, it, obviously encourage, you're obviously going to bring, this is how we do it, uh, plan takedowns a really good one if you're going to have a boss fight, but you could also use scout ahead or uh, wound care here because 
tracking, I don't really find a ton of value in it. So that's what I would recommend for camping skills. And you look at quirks for him. Quirks want to focus on melee damage. On guard is a great one. Uh, melee damage and melee crit, obviously. And when you look at the trinkets that you want to bring with him, surgical gloves, again, because of the crit, is great. If you have Ancestor's Candle, it's one I think that's really good. Um, you could bring Sun Rings. Uh, another one I like to utilize a lot is his actually class-specific trinket, which is the one that gives you an additional 3% crit. So that's an option there as well. Moving on, uh, we're going to bring a Houndmaster in slot 3. Um, and we're going to play this a little differently. So we're going to bring the Houndmaster and... I'm going to set up the utility setup here because it's more commonly utilized. I don't utilize stun unless I'm in the darkest dungeon. So for me, my setup looks something like this, this, or this, just depending on my party. Um, the great thing about the Houndmaster and why I feel it's probably the best class in the game is how versatile it is. So we're going to go with this setup for right now which will be Hound's Rush. Obviously, you're going to bring the target whistle for the prot reduction, which is really, really underrated and, and pretty OP on some of those bigger mobs and some boss fights that have prot. Uh, I'll bring Guard Dog, but I, I probably most of the time would bring uh, Lick Wounds first. Just, again, depends on how your party's going. You're going to switch these out pretty consistently throughout the course of running a dungeon. And then most people bring Blackjack because the stun is really, really, really strong. This is extremely valuable in the Darkest Dungeon runs. Just FYI, have a lot of Houndmasters for when you're going to do your Darkest Dungeon runs. Uh, looking at your camping skills. Encourage, obviously, you're going to bring going to bring Hound's Watch to prevent the nighttime ambush. Or you would bring Release the Hound if you want Scout Chance and trying to find some of those gold rooms. Uh, Man's Best Friend is a must-take as well as Therapy Dog. It's a must-take to reduce your stress. Uh, moving on to your quirks, on guard is where you want to focus. Evasive is another must take. And really anything that gives you speed or dodge is where you want to focus with him, in my opinion. Um, looking at the trinkets that I selected, and there's a ton of different ways you can go with him because of the way he's used. But I feel if you use him in a dodge and speed roll, that it allows him to excel. And the primary reason I don't stack a ton of damage and crit is because he has really low crit modifiers on his Hound's Rush. And he does get a lot more damage when you do use the dog treats, but it doesn't give you enough value to... It doesn't validate bringing that trinket for the whole run, in my opinion. And then, looking in the last slot, we would bring the Vestal. And this is just like the video I just released. Um, same setup, you guys can go there and kind of look at it, but um, same setup there. So that is what I feel is the most... The easiest to utilize, the most user friendly, and also the strongest when it comes from a damage perspective. And generally speaking, across most of the dungeons, the best party in the game currently. Uh, I took a Vestal over an Occultist primarily because of the consistency of the heals and her ability to really go through there. And um, you don't have to worry when she heals that she's going to hit somebody for zero. It's going to hit. So. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know what you want to continue to see from Darkest Dungeon. So that's the best party in the game currently, in my opinion. Thanks, everybody.